Alright, today I'm making raspberry cheesecake brownies. First thing, I preheat the oven for 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure the oven will be nice and hot. You're going to take 8 inch square pan, line it to overlap it with aluminum foil, and spray it with non-stick cooking spray. It's easy to release after baking. Let's start with the brownie base. What I have in a large bowl, let's combine for these. 6 tablespoons of melted butter. I'm also putting a fourth a cup plus one tablespoon of natural unsweetened cocoa. Okay, I'm just going to combine with the butter with the cocoa using with a whisk. It's give a nice and chocolatey taste. I'm going to break it up with a fourth a cup plus two tablespoons of firmly packed either light or dark brown sugar. After firmly pack one holds the shape. It's gonna keep whisking over to dissolve the sugar. I'm putting one large egg, half that at room temperature. It's gonna keep whisking over. Just make it smooth. I'm also putting one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. I'm going to put an eighth of a teaspoon of kosher salt. I'm also going to put a half a teaspoon of baking powder. And once that, you're going to switch it from the wire whisk to the rubber spatula. I'm going to gradually add in a fourth a cup of all-purpose flour. I'm going to use it with a rubber spatula to get a nice looking good batter. Alright, this is going to be a nice smooth batter. We're going to set this for momentarily while I'm going to prepare for the cheesecake batter. Alright, moving on for the cheesecake batter. We're going to combine with these into a separate bowl, 8 ounce packages of Philadelphia Original Cream Cheese. Have that at room temperature to soften up. I usually put it in the microwave as fast as I can. I'm going to combine these for a fourth a cup of granulated sugar to mix with 1 tablespoon of cornstarch. Just going to make sure the cornstarch can help this cheesecake batter to stay real quick. Put this right in. And I'm just gonna beat this really smooth. I'm gonna add another egg. And to give this for flavor, then I'm gonna try these with one teaspoon of raspberry extract. This is going to be a good raspberry flavor. Let's keep beating over. And always have to make sure to scrape down the sides of the bowl, down here and the bottom occasionally using with the rubber spatula. There you go. I have been melting with a seedless red raspberry jam that I'm going to try with 5 tablespoons. We're going to assemble these for the cheesecake brownies. And we're just going to pour these brownie bases of this batter right into the prepare pan. Going to spread it around with the butter knife. Get that really evenly. I'll just spread it for those brownie bases. Let's pour this cheesecake batter right on top of the base of the brownie and just gonna get to smooth it right over. Just spread it over right here. Just gotta be careful of that. Right, all been covered. 
Now I just melt it with 5 tablespoons of seedless red raspberry jam or preserves. We're going to give that a little spoonfuls just to get it make a little dollop. Just like that one, but not that much, just a little dollop. Now once after you a little dollop of the raspberry jam, you got to take another with the butter knife. You can give this to a marble lice or swirl around. Alright, it just marbleized and swirl around. Now the next thing, you're going to bake these for 30 minutes until the cheesecakes are set in the oven for 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You want to make sure to keep an eye on it in the oven. I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks. Alright, after it's been 30 minutes, I turn off the oven while it's still hot inside. Just let it rest. Leave the oven door open just a little crack. Using the wooden spoon to hold it really easy. Once after 30 minutes, you're going to take it out of the oven. Don't forget to remove the wooden spoon. Alright, after it's been cooling an additional 40 minutes, you're going to cover it tightly with some plastic wrap. And you're going to chill it into a refrigerator for one hour. I'll be back and I'll show you what it looks. Alright, after it's been chilled in the refrigerator for one hour that I've been took it out, I lift the pan over that I place it onto the cutting board before I'm peeling the aluminum foil. And I take a sharp knife and I cut it into 16 squares and I put it into line with plastic wrap with the serving over plate that I'm going to use it and look how beautifully swirl for the raspberry jam on top of the cheesecake and the brownie is right underneath and you have a finished raspberry cheesecake brownies if you're interested for more recipes write down in the comments below if you want to say something make sure to view all videos you watch for sharing subscribe to my channel click the bell to see all notifications about the new videos and the latest video, don't forget to smash that like button. As always, enjoy.